We are back inside Cameron Indoor Arena, one of the most famous venues in all of college athletics. Being on this place, on this court, is uh, it's very rewarding for us to be there. Duke and North Carolina, and he said his team is really excited to get a chance to fence in this building. Of course, North Carolina getting a chance to take on their rival in this opening set of bouts. Rivals in the state of North Carolina, Duke and UNC. This is a saber battle. Keep an eye on those. Again, Duke and North Carolina will play first. Then after these bouts complete, the teams will switch. There'll be a second bout. This is Terrence Lee against Luke Rampazzo. So we'll see if uh, Luca can make a comeback here. And on this uh, touch. So it looks like what like, it does look like Terrence Lee does have the feet coming forward. Uh, fifth and final touch for Lee to get the first point on the board for Duke. Did not compete, did Lee, in the last two seasons. He's one touch away from picking up their second point of this match against North Carolina. And it is Hosfeld who's able to get it done. Be away just in time. So Hosfeld, after coming in seventh in the individual tournament, picks up the second point. On the right, it's Noah Shepanek. Shepanek was actually awarded last year's Iron Ram Award from North Carolina for being the best male fencer. But Kim, of course, a very accomplished fencer. Absolutely. One other thing to note is that, you know, when you're fencing on these in these squads, all you're aware of matchup, can we get as many, you know, how many can we get to help out the other squads? Back at Sabre here. This is the third Sabre bound. So first time for Alan Chen of Duke on the left. Came in with an 18 and 12 record to this weekend. Looks like it's got that, that maybe attack on the right. Fencer trying to pick up the second point for North Carolina. You know, it's a big risk, but it could, it can pay off, right? You know, in FA, it's obviously hard to come back. You know, he went for a touch, you know. Uh, on the left there for Duke, who's going to get this touch to give Duke another victory. Back over to Sabre. This is just a moment ago. Again, another close bounce. Duke just trying to wrap this one up, make it a clean sweep. David Tierney. He'll win this one, 5 nothing. Good performance by Tierney. He, he, he felt it. Uh, he, you know, he saw how his opponent reacted to him. Now, fencers are different. Teammate may not work for the other, but it's always helpful. You always want more information. Jump over to Saver real quick, and this is Alec Mulvaney for North Carolina, winning 5-3. Mulvaney is able to win again. So it's 7 and Chen is on the left for Duke. A little late on that. Yeah, I think that's, that makes sense. Still one touch away from capturing this saber bout and getting North Carolina back within one. Oh, that time though. This is so interesting. You see this team Let's jump over to foil real quick. This is in a 4-2 advantage. The final touch. And as it is, Duke winning it 5-2. Cam Evans. Attack. Avoiding the attack of the opponent. Saber bout. Tied at three. They come together quickly. Free post, which is that return hit uh, before uh, before he was locked out. Oh, that, that line, it is just a one-point edge over the right. Alan Chen for Duke is on the left. And if North Carolina could win this, even two, whoever it might be, how much can that fire up the other two strips? It can, it can definitely help a lot. Yeah, you, I mean, you'll rarely see, you know, this bouts throughout the day. This is, again, Littman on the right. With just, wow, less than a second left. Yeah. To move extremely fast, you know, immediately, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm still talking about the FA bout. Uh, the final touch between Duke and North Carolina. You see the overall score, 8-8, eight, eight, and Duke is going to get another one. Really nice touch, actually. It worked. Probably benefited from the extra time that went back on the clock. Uh, as probably, well. actually, no, you know. It, it, it. So they're in priority now. Oh, look at that. Danny Campbell closes it out. Wow. Campbell able to get the touch in priority. Earlier, you know, can the Sabre squad kind of motivate the other squads? At this point, with, you know, with Duke already having a lead, it's probably motivating them. You know, and, you know, they have the edge here. Oh, and a very, very nice touch. So, David Tierney. Uh, Back at the FA strip between Duke and North Carolina. And it's going to be Duke that gets it done. They're starting to slowly pull away here. Close, mm. just off target. I'm gonna try and find uh, a valid target to hit. 
strip, really making it as difficult as possible. For the oh, oh, there it is. Find the target, and he picks up the first win earlier. Like these are equal matchups now, right? So the, we're looking at you know uh, a matchup of you know where they position themselves relative to each other's teams coming up now. So North Carolina back to one, back to within one overall. Oh, oh but it's Duke. Right now. And a it's big win. A big Markov, win. yeah, for Duke. I, I, I think oh. that looks like a parry post from the right. It, it, it doesn't look good for him, the fact that David Tierney actually... So Will Palazzolo keeps North Carolina in it. It's 13-10 to 10 as North we hop Korea. back to the Epe strip. Right, Danny Campbell on the left. Campbell with a touch can win it. And he, he does. does. Danny Campbell locks up the opening round matchup against North Carolina. Duke is the first to the magic number of 14 as they will move to 1-0 after the opening round matchup with the Tar Heels.